the casting process for the 1986 TV series Perfect Strangers was a careful selection of talents who could bring to life the comedic and heartwarming story of two cousins from different cultures. For the role of Balky Balticumus, a sheepherder from the fictional island of Mypos, the producers sought someone who could convincingly portray an endearing fish out of water character. Bronson Pinchot, with his background in theater and comedic timing, was chosen for the part. Pinchot's audition showcased his ability to balance Balky's naivety and earnestness, making him the perfect fit for the role. Mark Lynn Baker was cast as Larry Appleton, Balky's distant cousin and roommate. Lynn Baker, known for his work in theater and film, brought a relatable Everman quality to the character. His chemistry with Pinchot during auditions and screen tests solidified his casting. Their contrasting personalities and the natural rapport they shared provided the foundation for the show's humor and heart. Belinda Montgomery was cast as Jennifer Lyons, Larry's co-worker and love interest. Montgomery's experience in television and film, as well as her ability to portray a strong, independent woman, made her an ideal choice for the role. The casting of Melanie Wilson as Balky's girlfriend, Mary Ann Spencer, added another layer to the cultural clash at the core of the show. Wilson's performance brought warmth and charm to the character, further highlighting the contrast between Balky's traditional Myposian values and American culture. In conclusion, the casting of Perfect Strangers was a careful process of selecting actors who could not only embody the unique characteristics of their roles, but also create the chemistry necessary to bring the story to life. The result was a memorable and entertaining series that resonated with audiences for several seasons. <laughs> <laughs> the directors of the 1986 TV series Perfect Strangers, including Joel Zwick and others, brought their unique vision to the show. They aimed to create a comedic and heartfelt exploration of cultural differences, focusing on the story of two cousins from different worlds. Drawing inspiration from classic fish out of water tales, the directors crafted a light-hearted, family-friendly series that resonated with audiences. They used a traditional three-camera setup allowing for a comfortable sitcom style atmosphere. This approach emphasized character interactions and physical comedy, making the show appealing and accessible. Collaborating closely with the cast and crew, the directors fostered a positive and creative environment. They worked diligently to ensure that each actor understood their characters' motivations and backgrounds, enabling authentic performances. The directors also collaborated with the writers to develop storylines that highlighted the comedic and emotional aspects of the show. The director's style was characterized by a balance of humor and warmth. They aimed to create a world where the characters' differences were a source of laughter and learning rather than conflict. This vision was brought to life through careful framing, pacing, and comedic timing, resulting in a memorable and enduring series. Perfect Strangers was a popular TV series that aired from 1986 to 1993. It follows the story of two cousins, Balky and Larry, who are complete opposites and must learn to live together in Chicago. This show has inspired and impacted many people's lives, including mine. I remember watching it with my family and laughing together, creating cherished memories. One particular scene that has had a lasting impact on me is when Balky first arrives in America and is overwhelmed by the city. It's a funny and relatable moment that always brings a smile to my face. I'm sure many of you have your own special memories and experiences related to Perfect Strangers. We would love to hear them. Tell us in the comments below about the scenes or moments that have stood out to you and why this show has had a lasting impact on your life. And stay tuned for some surprising, funny, and even emotional facts about perfect strangers that you might not know. Keep watching. You are my secret weapon. And when the time is right, I'll unload my secret weapon and they... The production of the 1986 TV series Perfect Strangers took place in Hollywood, California, where the crew faced various logistical challenges. The set design was a crucial aspect and they had to create two distinct homes for the main characters, Larry Appleton and Balky Balticumus. The sets were designed to reflect the contrasting backgrounds of the characters, with Larry's apartment being more American and modern, while Balky's apartment showcased a more traditional and rural Myposian style. The filming locations included both interior and exterior settings. 
The interior scenes were primarily shot in the studio, while the exterior shots were taken in various locations around Los Angeles. One notable exterior location was the Griffith Park Observatory, which appeared in several episodes as Larry's workplace. During the production, the crew employed innovative techniques to enhance the visual appeal of the show. For instance, they used Chroma Key technology to create the illusion of Bulky's Mypogian village in the episode, Perfectly Imperfect Storm. This technique involved filming actors in front of a blue screen and then superimposing them onto a separate background image. However, producing Perfect Strangers was not without its challenges. One significant challenge was coordinating the schedules of the main actors, Bronson Pinchot and Mark Lynn Baker, who both had busy careers. Additionally, the crew had to ensure that the contrasting personalities of the characters were portrayed accurately, which required careful attention to detail during filming and post-production. Despite these challenges, the production team successfully created a beloved sitcom that has endured for over three decades. The show's lasting impact is a testament to the creativity, hard work, and innovation of everyone involved in its production. Not until you promise to stop gambling. <laughs> he just doesn't understand good, clean fun. Nick at Night has started airing the 80s TV series Perfect Strangers from the beginning, and you won't want to miss it. Set your VCR to record at 3.30 a.m. Eastern to enjoy this classic show. The series, which originally aired from 1986 to 1993, has held up well over the years and brings back fond memories of the 80s. It's an updated version of The Odd Couple that pairs two contrasting personalities, Bulky Balticumus and Larry Appleton, who are cousins but could not be more different. Bulky, with his foreign ways and accent, provides endless entertainment and drives his cousin Larry crazy with his antics. The show's humor and contrasting personalities are what made it a success, lasting for seven seasons. Every viewer can relate to the struggle between the two characters, as we all have a little bit of Larry and Balky in us. One of the show's standout episodes is the karate episode, where Balky says, a victory born of revenge will satisfy only the shallowest of souls, and Larry responds, I've got no problem with that. This quote highlights the struggle between the two characters and their differing personalities. The actors Bronson Pinchot and Mark Lynn Baker had great chemistry and were magic together on screen. The show's success can be attributed to the outstanding quality of the writing and the performances of the two leads. If you're looking for a classic 80s show that brings back memories and provides endless entertainment, Perfect Strangers is a must watch. Set your VCR to record and enjoy this timeless series. creation of a television show score and soundtrack is a crucial aspect of storytelling and the 1986 TV series Perfect Strangers is no exception. The music, composed by Charles Fox and Dennis Crosby, complements the narrative and emotional tone of the show in a way that enhances viewers' experience. Charles Fox, an accomplished composer with a long list of credits to his name, brought his expertise to Perfect Strangers. He is known for his work on the theme songs for popular TV shows like Love, American Style, and Happy Days. For Perfect Strangers, Fox and Crosby created a memorable and catchy theme song that sets the tone for the show's comedic and heartwarming stories. The score, which consists of the background music that plays during scenes, was also carefully crafted to match the emotional tone of each episode. The music is upbeat and lively during comedic scenes while it becomes more subdued and emotional during dramatic moments. This creates a rich and immersive experience for viewers, allowing them to fully engage with the story and characters. Dennis Crosby, the show's music supervisor, played a vital role in the creation of the soundtrack. He was responsible for selecting and licensing the popular music that was featured in the show. This included songs by well-known artists like Billy Joel and Elton John. By incorporating popular music into the show, Crosby helped to create a soundtrack that resonated with audiences and added an extra layer of enjoyment to the viewing experience. In conclusion, the creation of the score and soundtrack for Perfect Strangers was a collaborative effort between Charles Fox, Dennis Crosby, and other musicians and composers. Their work resulted in a memorable and impactful soundtrack that complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the show and helped to create a rich and immersive viewing experience for audiences. Excuse us. <laughs> okay. 
and the creation of the TV show Perfect Strangers, there were several changes in the casting process. The writers for Family Matters had initially planned for Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot to guest star as Larry and Balky in the pilot episode, but the scene was cut for time. Louis Anderson was originally cast as Lou Appleton, but was replaced by Mark Lynn Baker as Larry Appleton after shooting a pilot, as he was deemed wrong for the role. The success of Perfect Strangers also had an impact on Bronson Pinchot's career. He was unable to reprise his role as Serge in Beverly Hills Cop 2 due to the show's popularity. However, he did return for Beverly Hills Cop 3, and the upcoming Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. The show's success prevented him from taking on other roles, showing the significant impact that a hit TV show can have on an actor's career. In bed? We're sleeping? Sleep, sleep, sleep. Gina comes out of the bedroom? What? One of the most iconic scenes in Perfect Strangers is from the pilot episode, where Larry Appleton accidentally lets Balky Balticumis into his apartment, thinking he's a burglar. The scene showcases the initial meeting of the two cousins with Larry's apprehension and Balky's wide-eyed enthusiasm. The direction by Harvey Slayman is notable for its use of tight shots to capture Larry and Balky's reactions, creating a sense of intimacy and tension. The performance by Pincho is particularly memorable as he infuses Balky with an endearing innocence and humor. The cinematography by George Spiro Dibby utilizes warm colors and soft lighting to create a cozy atmosphere in Larry's apartment. This scene sets the stage for the rest of the series as it establishes the dynamic between Larry and Balky and their contrasting personalities. The impact on the audience is significant as it introduces two lovable characters that viewers will root for throughout the show's run. In an interview with the Archive of American Television, Lynn Baker commented on the scene, stating, it was a great way to introduce the characters and set the tone for the series. Bronson's performance was so funny and endearing, and it immediately endeared him to the audience. Another iconic scene is from the season two episode, The Dance, where Balky teaches Larry how to dance for a work party. The scene features a memorable dance sequence between the two cousins, with Balky's unconventional moves and Larry's awkwardness providing plenty of laughs. The direction by Joel Zwick is notable for its use of long takes to capture the dance sequence, allowing the audience to fully appreciate the humor and physicality of the scene. The performance by Pincho is once again a standout as he infuses Balky with an infectious energy and enthusiasm. The cinematography by Divi utilizes close-ups and wide shots to capture the dance moves and the reactions of the characters. This scene is memorable for its humor and physical comedy and it showcases the strong chemistry between Lynn Baker and Pincho. The impact on the audience is significant as it reinforces the lovable and endearing qualities of the two cousins. In an interview with the Television Academy Foundation, Lynn Baker commented on the scene, stating, It was always a pleasure to work with Bronson, and the dance sequence in the dance was one of our most memorable moments together. His energy and enthusiasm were contagious, and it was always a joy to see what he would come up with next. Help me open the wine. <laughs> the character Balky in Perfect Strangers was named after Bronson Pinchot's sister's dog, Balzi. In the opening credits, Balky and Larry are seen going to a play called The Odd Couple, which was previously adapted into a TV series with a similar premise as Perfect Strangers. Both Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot are Yale graduates holding undergraduate and graduate degrees in drama from the prestigious university. You don't trust me in a real car? I just think we should get... Perfect Strangers, a 1986 TV series, left a significant cultural and social impact. The show, which followed the lives of two cousins from different backgrounds, resonated with audiences due to its unique blend of comedy and cultural exploration. It introduced American viewers to the traditions and customs of Middle Eastern culture, contributing to a broader understanding and appreciation of diversity. The series influenced pop culture through its memorable characters and catchphrases. Balky Balticumis, played by Bronson Pinchot, became an iconic figure, known for his thick accent, unique dance moves, and endearing personality. His character's catchphrases, such as Did I Do That? and Don't Be Ridiculous, became popular sayings in American culture. Perfect Strangers also contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The show explored topics such as cultural assimilation, identity, and the challenges of navigating different cultural norms. 
By presenting these issues in a humorous and relatable way, the series encouraged viewers to consider and discuss these important themes. In summary, Perfect Strangers left a lasting impact on American culture and society. Its unique portrayal of cultural diversity, memorable characters, and exploration of relevant social themes made it a standout series that continues to be celebrated and remembered today. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Balky, 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 I am desperate, I am in... Balky Balticumus, a character from the TV series Perfect Strangers, had a beloved stuffed sheep named Dimitri. The actor who played Balky, Bronson Pinchot, initially turned down the role due to its similarity to his previous role in Beverly Hills Cop. However, after visiting Greece, he changed his mind and decided to portray the character, inspired by the generosity of the Greek people. Interestingly, Pinchot and Mark Lynn Baker are the only cast members to appear in all 150 aired episodes of the show. If the unaired pilot episode is considered, Pinchot is the only actor to appear in every episode. This highlights their importance in the series and their commitment to their roles. The enduring popularity of Perfect Strangers can be attributed to the chemistry between these two actors and the humor they brought to their characters. Are you with us today? Who cares? Who's like 50 bucks? I love this guy! Perfect Strangers, a sitcom that aired from 1986 to 1993, received mixed reviews from critics, but was generally well received by audiences. The show starred Bronson Pinchot and Mark Lynn Baker as cousins from different cultures navigating life together in America. Critics praised the chemistry between the two leads, with the New York Times calling Pinchot's performance delightful and Lynn Baker's equally engaging. However, some reviewers criticized the show for relying too heavily on cultural stereotypes. The Los Angeles Times noted that the show often slips into broad cultural stereotypes, but conceded that it was still funny. Despite these criticisms, Perfect Strangers was a hit with audiences and consistently ranked in the top 20 shows during its run. It also received several award nominations, including three Primetime Emmy nominations for Outstanding Editing for a Series and one Young Artist Award nomination for Outstanding Young Comedian. The positive reception from audiences and award nominations were significant for those involved in the show. For Pinchot and Lynn Baker, the success of Perfect Strangers helped establish them as successful sitcom actors. The show's creators, Dale McRaven and Thomas L. Miller, also gained recognition for their work on the show. The award nominations were a testament to the show's quality and its ability to resonate with audiences. While the show may not have received universal acclaim from critics, its popularity and enduring legacy among fans are undeniable. The show's cultural impact can still be felt today, with references to perfect strangers appearing in popular culture and the show remaining a staple of 80s television. You shouldn't do it because you feel you have to. Oh! After the spin-off show Family Matters premiered in 1989, Joe Marie Payton, who played Harriet Winslow on Perfect Strangers, no longer appeared on the original series. Her character was revealed to have been fired from her job as an elevator operator in the spin-off show Two Income Family. The opening credits of Perfect Strangers from season three onwards featured a scene of Balky and Larry on a tour boat under a Chicago River Bridge. Interestingly, the opening credits of Family Matters showed the Winslow family riding bikes over the same bridge during its first three seasons. Bronson Pinchot, the actor who played Balky Balticumus, wanted to differentiate his character's accent from that of Lac Gravas, a popular foreign character played by Andy Kaufman on the sitcom Taxi. Unlike Balky, Latka's home country was never revealed. <laughs> In the making of Perfect Strangers, which aired in 1986, there were many memorable moments that brought the cast and crew closer together. The show's stars, Bronson Pinchot and Mark Lynn Baker, formed a strong bond during filming, often practicing their lines together between takes. Pinchot, who played the eccentric Balky Balticumus, would even entertain the crew with impromptu dance performances during breaks. The show's creators, Dale McRaven, Bob Boyd, and Thomas L. Miller, drew inspiration for the series from their own experiences with culture clashes and the blending of families. They wanted to create a show that was both relatable and funny, and they succeeded with Perfect Strangers. One particularly memorable episode was The Gift of the Miracaco, in which Balky's cousin from Mypos comes to visit. 
The character, played by Pinchot's real-life ballet teacher, was initially intended to appear in only one episode, but the character was so popular that he returned for several more. Despite the show's success, there were challenges behind the scenes. Pinchot and Lynn Baker both had demanding schedules, and there were often disagreements about the direction of their characters. However, they always managed to work through their differences and maintain a strong friendship both on and off the set. Overall, the making of Perfect Strangers was a memorable experience for all involved. The cast and crew formed a close-knit community, and the show's success was a testament to their hard work and dedication. For your date, now. The wolf pain is for your runny nose, the pumpkin mold is for your cough, and the garlic just... Bronson Pinchot, initially hesitant to play bulky in Perfect Strangers due to being typecast from Beverly Hills Cop, changed his mind after a trip to Greece, where he was moved by the locals' hospitality. This experience led him to portray Balky, who affectionately calls his cousin Larry Cousin and Cousin Larry when mentioned in third person. The character Larry Appleton, played by Mark Lynn Baker, was named after Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin. Throughout the series, Larry and Balky navigate their contrasting personalities and cultural differences, forming a unique bond that resonates with audiences. Dimitri, <laughs> if you trust me that much. Perfect Strangers, a 1986 TV series, holds a special place in television history. This show, which introduced the world to the unlikely pairing of Larry Appleton and Balky Balticumus, offered a unique blend of comedy and cultural exploration. While it may not have been a critical success, it certainly left an impression on its audience and paved the way for future television shows. Perfect Strangers was one of the first American television shows to feature a lead character from a foreign country, in this case, the fictional island of Mypos. By introducing American audiences to Balky's culture and traditions, the show helped to broaden the horizons of many viewers and pave the way for more diverse representation in television. The show's impact can also be seen in the many tropes and comedic moments that it introduced. For example, the dance of joy became a cultural touchstone and a symbol of the show's unique blend of humor and heart. Additionally, the show's focus on the relationship between two very different characters laid the groundwork for many future sitcoms, including shows like The Odd Couple and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Perhaps most importantly, Perfect Strangers inspired a generation of writers, actors, and filmmakers. Many of the show's cast members went on to have successful careers in the entertainment industry, including Bronson Pinchot, who played Balky, and Mark Lynn Baker, who played Larry. The show also inspired a number of spin-offs and reboots, including the short-lived sitcom Family Matters. In short, while Perfect Strangers may not be the most critically acclaimed television show of all time, it certainly left a lasting legacy and influence on the world of television. Its unique blend of humor, art, and cultural exploration helped to broaden the horizons of many viewers and pave the way for more diverse representation in television. Okay, that is a miracle cure! Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. There's something we've got to talk about. In the popular 1986 TV series, Perfect Strangers, actress Belita Moreno played two separate characters. Initially, she portrayed Edwina Twinkasetti, the wife of Mr. Twinkasetti, for the first two seasons. However, in the third season, she took on a distinct role as Lydia, who had a more significant presence in the show. Interestingly, Mo Reno first appeared as Lydia in Season 1, Episode 5. Bronson Pinchot, known for his role as Balky, made a unique choice for his character. He claimed never to wear underwear during filming, adding to the quirky and eccentric personality of Balky. Perfect Strangers production faced a minor setback when the series was initially developed for airing in 1985. However, Pinchot was already committed to another show, Sarah, which was eventually canceled. Once freed from his previous commitment, Pinchot was quickly hired, and the producers resumed developing Perfect Strangers for a 1986 release. Baseball. You need to play it, I'll play. Oh, thank you, Balky. I appreciate the offer, but there's... Louis Anderson was initially cast in the pilot episode of Perfect Strangers as Larry but was replaced by Mark Lynn Baker for the series due to chemistry issues with Bronson Pinchot, who played Balky. Despite his tendency to forget lines, Pinchot's character became a memorable part of the show. The character Larry had eight siblings, but only his brother Billy and sister Elaine appeared in the series. A little sore? 
after the final season of Perfect Strangers concluded in 1993. Bronson Pinchot, who played Balky Balticumis, starred in the short-lived sitcom The Trouble with Larry, while his co-star Mark Lynn Baker, who played Larry Appleton, appeared in a Broadway production of Laughter on the 23rd floor. Balky Balticumis, the character played by Pinchot, hailed from the fictional island of Mypos, which may have been inspired by Cyprus. Mypos had one phone, with call waiting, and its national sport was spitting. Only the royal family had indoor plumbing, and the island's main businesses were sheep herding and a 7-Eleven store. Interestingly, Nelson Mandela was a fan of Perfect Strangers, as revealed by Pinchot during a banquet in South Africa. Although Pinchot did not meet Mandela personally, he received a note from one of Mandela's assistants stating that Mandela knew of his cousin's presence at the event. In summary, the cast and fictional island of Perfect Strangers led to other opportunities for its stars and even caught the attention of Nelson Mandela. Here's the best custom. It's new. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to hit the weights. The exterior shots of Larry and Balky's first apartment in the TV series Perfect Strangers were filmed at the now demolished Santa Rita Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. The building was later remodeled and its upper stories removed, now housing various small businesses. The exterior of their second apartment, used from seasons three to six, is located in Lincoln Park, Chicago, with little change in appearance. Green. <laughs> well, you can show me tomorrow night because you can If Perfect Strangers, the 1986 TV series, holds a special place in your heart, we'd love to hear your stories. How did this show influence you personally or shape your view on television? Share your memories with us and become a part of our cinematic community. We encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to join us in exploring more treasures of the entertainment world. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant platform where we can all celebrate our love for TV and film. Let's cherish these shared experiences together. This window too much on you? <laughs>